A no-go for NASA's most ambitious moon mission in decades as it scrubbed today's Artemis 1 launch. Uh, this after a series of delays this morning. Morgan Norwood reports from Kennedy Space Center. Just minutes after the launch window for Artemis 1's most powerful rocket in the world was set to open, NASA scrubbing the unmanned mission due to a series of complications. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson has called a scrub of the attempt of launch of Artemis 1. All morning crews have been scrambling to address a cascade of problems. First Lightning, which NASA says delayed the process of tanking, which includes filling the rocket's core stage with liquid oxygen and hydrogen, followed by a leak in the hydrogen fuel line, then a crack in the inner tank. But it was an issue with an engine that caused NASA to scrub the launch altogether. We don't launch until it's right. Uh, they're taking an uh, opportunity while that vehicle is still fueled up uh, to work this problem, and they're going to work it. They'll get to the bottom of it. They'll get it fixed, and then we'll fly. The plan was for the Artemis 1 to carry the Orion capsule into orbit, go around the world once toward the moon, then loop around the moon before coming back to Earth. You can't test the heat shield in a lab. You've right. got to put it, and it's coming in hot. It's coming in fast. It's coming in 5,000 degrees. Once the rocket launches, the mission is expected to take roughly 40 days to complete before the Orion capsule returns to Earth. And by 2024, Americans could be going to the moon to stay. This mission being successful is a, a sign to the world and to the American people that, that we've been doing our best with, with your resources. And, and, and so thank you. We owe them that. And the next launch window is Friday, just after 12 noon. In the meantime, crews will be working to fix everything that was discovered today. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News at Kennedy Space Center in Florida.